Hey there everybody, uh, it's DKF back with uh, another uh, Sketcher tool tutorial. Uh, you probably notice the uh, biggest difference on my screen is the color changed. I finally figured out how to make this screen black in here. Uh, it's been annoying me for the longest time. Uh, so this is a little throwback to Wildfire uh, 1 to 4. Uh, I find it much easier to view on screen. It's nice and yellow on black. So uh, today I'm going to talk about the circle tool and all the tools hidden behind it, uh, some of which I use frequently and uh, some of which I don't use all that frequently. Uh, so as you probably have uh, figured out by now, the circle tool makes circles. Uh, and it, With the center you can make concentric circles very easily. So you can make a target. Or uh, you can do a couple other things. Uh, but let's say you wanted to make uh, an ellipse. Uh, so there's a couple different ways we can go about doing this. Uh, personally, I like to use this one right here, which is the axis ellipse. There we go. And what this does is it just, uh, you define the long axis or short axis, depending on how far you pull this out. Uh, anyway, you define an axis and you pull out uh, the ellipse to get the right dimension that you want. Uh, so for some of my planes, like uh, my Boeing 7, 77, uh, that's uh, what I used to make the body sections. And then I went in and edited the definitions to make it a little bit uh, more realistic. So uh, that's uh, one of my favorite functions here. Uh, but another one that you can do is the center and the ellipse. So I define the center, uh, give an axis, and give the other axis. So that uh, the advantage with this one right here is I can define exactly where I want my center. So if I go back here, and I wanted to make a center right on uh, the coordinate system here, I could do that. With the other one, uh, with this one, I can only really define one start point and end point, and I'd have to be a little bit more careful. So with the center and axis function, I can easily define my center point and have a really good time making uh, airplanes with that. Uh, so there's a couple other things. Uh, right now we have the three point. Uh, so if you wanted to create a circle with just three points, which is the absolute minimum that you need, uh, that's the tool to use it for. Uh, so it, you can have uh, some interesting shapes with that. Uh, if you really need to put a best fit circle between a couple points, that's probably the easiest way to do it, uh, rather than play around with the circle to trying to get it to work yeah, just right. Well, this will make it much easier for you to do that. And then concentric circles, uh, you really don't need to use this function too much, uh, but you can select any circle and move in and out to create your next uh, circle. Uh, basically, the normal circle tool does this for you, uh, except uh, you have to select the center point. Uh, well, the difference in this tool is that you just select the circle itself, and then you go and create uh, your next uh, function, uh, your next circle. So let's get rid of all those circles. <laughs> and now uh, the last one that we have here is the three tangent. So I'm going to create a whole bunch of lines here. And let's see if we can make a circle go in between these. Alright, so there we have a circle between all three lines right there. And it's perfectly tangent on all the edges. So again, if you have some interesting constraints and you need to uh, make a circle fit in here, uh, this is the way to go about doing it. So if you have any questions, uh, post them below. Uh, I'll be coming out with some more uh, tutorials pretty soon. Hope this helps.